back in black. Here we go, the man in black. Let's do this. I was resting after absorbing the astral fissure when I heard footsteps approaching. Moments later, a group of people dressed in black appeared. Oh, wait there, wait there, wait there. Was that an optional thing I saw? Ah, oh, I didn't read it. Right, I need to pay more attention. The astral fissure is gone, and I think I spy the culprit. What happened here? I don't know. However, something feels off. It may be something in their possession. We must deal with it at once. You stay back. As the man in black readied his weapon, a chill ran down my spine, and I felt a rush of bloodlust. I do not know who you are, but I know you possess a natural power. Show it to me if you dare! Man, fuck your power, bitch. I think it said destroy the guy's armor as an optional objective. I'll need to pay more attention to the, the info screens before we fight. Next time. Ah, <clears throat> my voice, a fucking voice. Fight. Wait, wait, wait. Bro, I wasn't ready. It's like when you're playing against your mates and you're like, hold on a second. And then they just run in and buy you. Lose half your health bar before you get a chance to pick up the control pad. Bastards. Right. Your existence is a it ends yeah. now. Playing terribly. You dare? Not it ends now. I need to learn how to do the fast side step. I just kind of figure it out. Not bad. The, the man relaxed his stance and put away his weapon, causing a stir amongst his allies. Are you certain? Is it really wise to let an outsider get away? I've ob I've obtained all the information I need. Ask him who he is. What's going on? Fall back. Sir. Sir! Maxi ran over and start, stared hard at me before speaking. You okay? What was their deal? And what was with the weird get-up? Haran returned. He also realised something was wrong. I found some water. Did something happen while I was gone? Yeah, Scott was attacked by a freaky group. A freaky group like bandits? They didn't look like bandits well. At least everyone's safe. I think our way ahead's safe, but we should stay alert. Those freaky freaks may come back. Freaky freaks. Your soul surges in your body. Chapter 2, spirit skills, eh? Greetings and farewells. Oh, there's a shop I haven't got access to yet. Both greetings and farewells were to be found in Dhaka. Where Maxi's employer awaited us. Right, conditions and objectives. Your opponents move more quickly, defeat them all. Alright, ah, okay. So it gives you a little information as to what uh, to expect. Forgive me, but this is where I must take my leave. Where are you off to in such a rush? I've heard rumours of strange happenings in my hometown in Yangwang. My brother is still there, and I worry about his safety. That's too bad, but I get it. It's been short, but a whole lot of fun. Take care. Safe journey to you. Farewell. With a bright smile and a small bow, Haran left. Scott, I have to report to my employer. You go and wait by my ship. Guy's got a ship. Head to the docks. You can't miss it. I'll give you your cut and the reward there. See ya. Man from Maxi's crew. Huh? Who are you? What do you want? <laughs> Tell him that you came here to crush Maxi. I'll be nice.
What's going on? Oh, hey Cam. This weirdo just turned up. Says he's got business with Maxi. I actually didn't say that at all. That's so. Guess that means Maxi trusts him. Looks that way. If the captain liked you, you must be pretty tough. So how about you show us how tough? Okay. So either way, you're going to have a fight. Either way. Oh man, pack it in. <laughs> Mate, you just got spammed to bits. I think I know what it is. I think it's block. I think it's block. That guy got destroyed and I was basically just practicing my move. Oh, what is there a moves list here? Ah, oh, there might be, wait there. Move list. Right, so it's back and X. Oh, it's classed as fucking A, B, and K, and G. Oh, it tells you there. So back in A. Back A back. Well that's the move that it is. Oh, that's it. You just press the double. You just got to double tap it. Oh, I tried to get him into the wave. <laughs> awesome. Aye. So once you go into that stance, double tap down or double tap up, and it'll do your 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 side steps. You can also dash forward and backwards as well, which is awesome. Maxi and his crew. That was a fine show, matey. Hey, I'm back. Where's a warm welcome for your captain? Welcome back, brother. You had us all worried. So what's the story with this landlubber? This crew's my saviour. We've got to thank Scott here for making sure our employer's happy. what I say about looking before you leave, Maxi? Remember what happened last time? Oh, quit your belly aching. It all worked out in the end, didn't it? Horse words aside, Kame didn't really seem angry. He must be used to Maxi's fighting. Fights are fancy by now. So you know my crew is a family. They look rough, but they're a good bunch. You said you're looking for a thing, and, um, Ashlow Fisher. As a man of my word, I'll help you. There you go again, leaping before you go looking. Bah! So what's this Ashlow Fisher? I'll tell you once everyone's here. Maxi handed me a bag of gold coins. It's going to take a while to get ready, so do what you got to do in that time. The town's got a lot of shops and some great places to eat. Why not check them out? Ah, so this is where we'll spend our money.
You can now access shops in Dhaka, where you can buy goods and exchange currencies. General shop, exchange gold for food and weapons, currency exchange. Exchange gold and soul caliber VI's universal currency soul points. What the hell is that? Soul Calibur has two types of currency, gold and soul points. Gold is saved in individual Libra of soul data slots and cannot be used in other modes. You can get more from the currency exchange as needed. Gold used only in Libra Soul. Soul points, the universal currency for Soul Calibur 6. Used to unlock features in the museum. Ah, right, okay, I get you. Right, we want to go to the shop. Power 45 to 45. Oh, Geralt! I forgot about that! Bloody Geralt's in the game! I'm dying to see what his moveset's like. I'm sure we'll find out. And what's the swords called? Wolven steel sword and silver sword. Oh my god, that's incredible. All right, I don't need anything. My weapons do 30-30, so and I'm I'm not struggling against enemies, so continue. Dhaka, a city of trade and commerce, located a short distance up river from the harbor. It wasn't that well known yet among travellers, but it was starting to crave it, carve a name for itself as a key point on the east-west trade routes. I'm gonna have to stop talking to that voice, it's fucking bad on voice like. I wandered aimlessly through crowded streets, where the hustle and bustle seemed to never cease. I wanna go to the market. As I explored the busy market, I picked out a woman's clear voice through the clamour. Hey, you remember those rumours about demons in the village near here? The ones that started about a year ago, right? They frightened me something awful. I heard all the demons have been taken care of for good. Really? It's true. Bet we have qualifiers to thank for that. Ah, the qualifiers. Are you still obsessed with them? You need to get your priorities straight. Come on, Slowpoke. Wait up. As they disappeared from view, I tried to recall where I'd heard the qualifiers before. Then it hit me. They were the ones I fought by the Astral Fisher. There you are, been looking for you. Captain's got something we wanna hear. I followed Maxi's crew member back to the ship. You heard of Yang Wang? It's a port in Ming. Recently no one's been able to get in or out of the port they I heard. The info came from a reliable source. They say the place is covered in red mist, and it might have something to do with an epidemic or something. Been a lot of trouble with crime there too. Hauron said something strange was going on in Yang Wang. Judging by what we found out, there's a good chance that Astral Fish has appeared there. Probably, we're probably going to meet back up with Hauron. Hauron. He's probably heading straight for the ma Maelstrom. The thought chilled me to the bone. Well, we'll take you to Yang Wang. If you like, quicker than going by land. I gratefully accepted. Gratefully. Gratefully. Oh, look at this opened up massively. You can now explore different areas along the main route of your journey. Through exploration you can discover missions, gain levels and collect weapons to make your character stronger. How to explore? Choose that. Okay. You may be attacked by enemies on your way to your destination. You'll not automatically heal while travelling, so efficient use of weapons and foot is essential. If you are defeated, exploration will end and all expenses will be deducted when you return to the area you started from. Okay. In Libra of Soul there are numerous kinds of missions. The red ones are story missions and the green ones are other missions. Okay. The missions that require you to fight are categorised as story or quest missions can be played again from the player menu. However, after you've completed these missions once, each subsequent completion will only award gold. Okay. Right, let's do with it. Huh. 
Level 8. Level 10. Oh, this is so cool. What actually cost gold to do that? Oh, because traveling costs gold, obviously. See, that's so much better. If you can just fast travel to any point you want, and then travel, we'll do that. Tell you what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this to find out what it is. Are you sure you want to travel to the selected area? Yes. Tilak, the warrior. Master Drona's invitation in hand. I went to see the warrior Tilak. When we met, he told me he was refraining from going into battle. Critical edges do more damage and your soul gauge fills up more quickly. I've never used any of the new ring outs are disabled. I've never used any any of those special features yet. I'll try and do it this time. Lord Drona himself sent you to me. Unbelievable. The man who called himself Tilla cast an apologetic glance in my direction after he scanned the letter of introduction from Drona. To be honest, I don't have time to deal with a stranger wandering in from the dark. I may not be heading off to war with the soldiers, but I'm still very busy. As if Tillak had issued a command, the men standing to attention on either side of me all ready their weapons and union. I quickly readied mine as well. Hold. If I dishonoured Lord Drona's request, I would be spitting on the face of my father and my family. More importantly, from the looks of it, none of you could match this one in a fight. Scott was it. I find myself suddenly interested in you. I shall accept your request. Nice, we're going to get a, a battle with the master. Got to give him a hiding. You are no master. Battle one. Fight. Ah, oh, trust me. Fuck me. You dare. It ends now. <laughs> You dare prepare to die. It ends now. Wrong move. Wrong move. Wrong move. Music. KO. See ya. How do you like that from Martha? Fight. You dare. You dare. It ends now. I'll fight to the death. Oh, oh, you want to play that game, do you? You're no match. You dare prepare to die. It ends now. Nothing. It ends now. How the hell did I do that? Oh yes, I forgot you can do that as well. Yeah, you can do the the flying drop kick as well. I still forgot to use the special features. Soul break or whatever it's called. Not only have you demonstrated great skill and fearsome techniques, but also incredible poise. I yield great warrior and I present you with this. Tilak gestured one of his people brought over a package which he handed me. This is a weapon my father planned to present to Lord Drona, but I believe you, Lord Drona's disciple, are worthy to wield it. I wondered what kind of history there was between Tilak's father and Drona. As if he had read my mind, Tilak laughed. My father had something of a rivalry with Lord Drona. Despite being an elder and the more skilled, my father knew that one day Lord Drona would overtake him, and that terrified my father. However, he vowed to be graceful in what he saw his inevitable defeat. In his will, he bequeathed this weapon to Lord Drona as a token of his respect, but now I want you to have it. Drona would like to be very, very happy to hear this.
Damascus blade. That's the um the samurai's weapon. I forgot what it's called. Oh my god, I can go over there, but I haven't got enough gold. Ah, so... As long as you accumulate enough gold, you can actually travel to the far reaches of the world. There's actually a bit of tactics in this. I'll end the expedition for now. Right, I actually want to go and do a story mission. Well, I'll go to the dojo first. Oh, I thought yeah, I'd be able to bring the sword back on, but I can't. Right, never mind. All aboard. There you are, we're ready here. Where's the anchor? We're leaving port. I thank Maxi again for his help. Don't worry about it. It's probably best to do the story missions because it's free to travel and I bet you these story missions will put you closer to these special points. I gazed out at the beauty of the Pacific Ocean and took a deep breath of fresh sea air. Humming to himself, Maxi looked pleased to be on the water again. Nothing beats the wind and the waves, you know. I was born in the Ryuku... Ryuku Islands. Why did I sound bloody... Ryukyu Island. Island. Well, you needed a boat to get anywhere, but the sea's always a joy, no matter where you sail. I prefer the land. Ha! You change your tune once you get over the sea sickness. Ask why you became a pirate. To cut a long story short, I just want to be free to travel the world. Before my father passed away, he told me to go and sail the seven seas. When I first set sail, I understood what he meant. The winds have changed, the sky is looking nasty, the sea is going to get rough. This clouds me in trouble. Normally I play it safe, but we're short on time. In for a penny, in for a pound. Kong Wang's proposal. Maxi and Kane were right to be apprehensive. Our ship headed straight for the storm, and after being buffeted by the wind and the waves, we were left grounded and pondering our next move. Your opponent's counter hit to do more damage. Defeat them. Oh my god, look at this guy. He looks like a legend. He looks like Gay Raiden. How do you get more clothes? That's what I want to know. I want to keep my guy up with different, different, uh, like, clothes. Brother, some merchants are being attacked on the other side of the hill. Gotta be bandits. What? We've gotta do something. Scott, help us out. You're out of luck, Kong Wang. This is as far as you go. Hmm, yes. You're, you're one of Lin Pei's stooges. You need a better disguise. Your weapon and stance betray you. It doesn't matter. You're going to die. Gormless brat. You think you can beat me? Hold it. Good timing. This fiend wants a defenseless old man dead. Leave it to me. You've no idea what you face. Battle one. Fight. Kill him. There's a move, right? When... Two. Fight. I need to figure out how you do it. You're no match. Strike. Ready. That's it. I knew it. Two. 
You dare! It ends now! Ready? There's a move where you do the three ground bombs in a row, but I forgot how you do it. You really got me out of a tight spot there. Such skill. Maxi, my friend. I owe you and your companion my life. Do I know you? No, but I know I'm something of a dealer in information. I introduce people to mercenaries and bodyguards, so I keep my ears open for the tales of capable fighters. Rumours of you and your crew's exploits, Maxi, are ten a penny. Right, I think I'm going to regret helping this guy. He's kind of creeping me out. Is that ship of yours? Yes, ho ho. As thanks for your help, allow me to lend you my services free of charge. The calculating look in the merchant's eyes was a little disconcerting, but there was no reason to turn him down. My ship ran aground the storm yesterday, so I'd appreciate a little help with the repairs. Consider me at your service, however. Yeah, yeah, people want you dead. Don't worry, we'll keep an eye on you. In which case, escort me to the town near here. Well, we've got to watch the ship and get started on repairs. Scott, will you escort him? I wanted to get to Yang Wan as quickly as possible, but Maxi said the repairs of the ship would keep him from moving for some time. I agreed. You look like the strong sort. I'm grateful for your assistance. Okay, watch yourself out there. The next time we meet, I swear I'll show you how fun sailing can be. Bush, bush. Travelling companion. On negotiations finished, I accompanied Kong Wan to his tavern, a bustling place where people offer their services negotiated with potential customers. It was there I met a rather eccentric fellow. Defeat your opponent. Not much further now, my shop is just over there. By shop I mean well, it's more of a tavern than anything. As I mentioned, I'm what you call a middleman. It was safe to say I didn't trust him. I bet he wanted to appraise potential merchandise when he asked for a bodyguard. It may not be a palace, but make yourself at home. Hey old man, what do we have here new blood? Indeed, quite skilled, yes hmm, perhaps even more so than you Mitsurugi. That's it, Mitsurugi is the guy that uses the samurai sword. Oh is that so? Mitsurugi's looking mighty young though isn't he? Hello there stranger, my name is Hishiru Mitsurugi and I'm feeling bored, how about a friendly match? How about it? Let's figure out the bombs. Maybe it's neutral. I've been pressing the direction. Maybe it's just a neutral. Battle press. one. Fight. Let me see what you can do. Ready? You dare? It ends now. Just jumped out the fucking ring. Right, be careful with that move. My Real power. Nice. That's the first special move I've done. Awesome. Come on, come close. Come close. Come close. You dare. It ends now. Maybe, maybe. I need to find out a good juggle combo because if I can get one of those bombs off. Fight. Right, let's try this. You dare. It ends now. Watch closely. 
Yeah. How do you like that? I need to find a good combo for for juggling. You dare? It ends now. Ready? My god, I've got a Hadouken. Are you seeing that? That's forward square and um, Y. Together. Not bad. We'll get along just fine. Um, yes, you really are skilled, aren't you? Mitsurigi here is my best warrior, and that's no lie. None of the fighters here are a match for me, so it was invigorating to spot with someone of your caliber for a change. Scott, he has some business in Yang Wang. Yang Wang? What a coincidence, so do I. I saved enough coin here to continue, so I was thinking of catching a boat there to Japan. What good fortune. Let's head to Yang Wang together. Always better to have some company on the road. Yes, I'm well. It'll be a shame to lose you, Mitsurugi. I'm going to have to rethink my plans. Thanks for all your help, Scott. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Tell him not to forget his promise to help Maxi. Yeah, I'll do that. Of course, a merchant word is his honour. Ho ho ho. Your soul surges in your body. The Samurai's Way. I will do this one. Across the seas to the east is an island country named Japan. Mitsurugi is what they call a samurai from those parts. I left my homeland to search for a legendary sword called the Soul, Ed Soul Edge. Ooh, you don't want the Soul Edge. I'm a warrior, sworn to the sword. I want a soul edge to help provide, prove a blade can be stronger than any Tanegashima. However, I never found it. Bah! A dog chasing his tail has more luck than I. I've searched far and wide but found no clues. Some say it lies in the hands of a pirate. That's right, Cervantes. Some say wealthy merchants are seeking it. I hear so many stories. It's me who should ask you about the sword. I shall abandon my search and consider my journey valuable training. Many strong warriors exist throughout the world. I don't know if ships have been sailing from Yang Wan. The old man says something peculiar has gone on over there. I told him that commotion in Yang Wan was probably caused by the appearance of an astral fisher, and that I sought the power of the fishers. Astral fishes? Never heard of them. Still, the direction we're heading is the same. Mitsurigi gave a hearty laugh. The road ahead was long. We were going to have to camp. Hey, hey, wake up. You were screaming in your sleep. It was noisy, so I kicked you until you woke up. Everything okay? I explained to him that I didn't absorb power from astral fishers, I would die. Honestly, your whole tail is hard to swallow, but I can tell something's got you jumpy at least. Very well, tomorrow we hasten our pace. It had been longer than I realised since I last absorbed the power of an astral fisher. I needed to get to one quickly. With a growing sense of urgency, I continued my journey. Rumours from Yang Wan. We stopped off at a village along our way. 
hoping to find some information on Yang Wan and gather supplies. Welcome, welcome! You do not look well at all, Scott. Eat heartily, get some fire in your belly. Who knows what awaits us? So in other words, I won't complain if you won't order a feast. We intend to go to Yang Wan. All that mention of Yang Wan, the shopkeeper's smile slipped. I hear things are quite bad. A number of people were attacked and they got and they caught the culprit. It turned out to be one of the townspeople gone mad. You wouldn't think that now, but it used to be the most prosperous town in the area. It was worse than I had expected. Was the astral fisher responsible? My fear for Harwan safeties grew steadily stronger. I tried to reassure myself that he was capable of looking after himself. I hear the area around Yang Wan is teeming with mad townsfolk who butcher anyone that stands in their way. Your concern is appreciated, but my friend here has no intention of turning tail. I nodded. Arthur Man in Black, he has come just as I expected. Because of the astral fish, I assume, how should we respond? It's too soon to act. Stay your hand. He may be Aswell's creature, and you say we should merely stand by. Disapprove of my decision? Understood. Very well. Murderer. Are you okay? You look terrible. Well, young one isn't much farther. We can rest when we get there. What's that? Help! A man was running towards us from the direction of the town. He seemed to be terrified. He's going to kill me. Help, I don't want to die. A dark figure appeared behind the man, moving with pre preternatural speed. In the blink of an eye, the figure mercilessly struck down the defenseless man. Yeah. Then the dark figure noticed us. Waves of fury and bloodlust sent a sickening chill down my spine. Without hesitation, I readied my weapon. Oh, it's Hauran. And then that's when I realized that it was Hauran. Something was very wrong. His eye glows like his eyes glowed like embers, and his face was twisted into a menacing snarl. Blood covered his tattered clothes, barely concealing bulging muscles which looked more like those of a monster than a well-trained fighter. Blah blah blah. His voice was a bestial, a bestial growl. So that's one of those mad townsfolk, eh? The man how Ron murdered lay before me. Oh my god, it's Arit. Fucking hell, we'll get the point. What happened to Haran? I thought back to what Zalzamel had told me. Many malfested. Lose all sense of reason. Right, okay. I think we'll get the gist. Fucking hell. It's like a novel in between fights. I just didn't care. How are man? We'll get the point. We're going to have to fight him. After a silent play, Hayao slowly stood up. Yang Wan has fought with danger. Come with me. I tried, but I could not stop Hauran. So I have a favour I need to ask of you. Judging by his stride, Hiao was injured. Nevertheless, he appeared filled with determination. That's two, that's two things with no battle. What's going on? Please forgive me for interrupting your journey. I asked him what happened to Hauran. After my brother returned from his journey, hey, how can I explain it? It all began when he volunteered to inspect an unusual rift that had appeared. Apparently he's seen something similar on his travels. With each day passing, my brother began acting stranger and stranger. Right, okay. For a short while, we all fell silent. Then Harrow looked at me, his eyes filled with determination. Partly worship my brother. That's why I wish to stop now. Okay. Ask if Harrow can be saved. I searched hard for another way, be it through medicine, magic, anything, but every road led to failure, and nothing I could do helped. None in Yang Wan who suffered the same fate as my brother could be brought back either. How. How Yu's expression was filled with pain, but his grim acceptance of the situation only served to emphasize the strength of his resolve. There must still be a way. In Ling Shi Si, where my brother and I studied, people spoke of a legendary old man who may know how to resist this evil. 
but the stories about him were always vague and besides, it would take many a day simply to reach the temple. Let's do it. Make it well, we know he doesn't want to. Oh my god, could all of this not just be like, combine it into one like cutscene? Decisions. How you had made up his mind now, it was my turn. How Ron had fallen victim to manifestation and I had to decide what to do. You have reduced health and your opponent has increased attack power to defeat them. Okay, so I've just got to defeat him. How you led us to the forest where he said he would find How Ron. Yeah, this is where my brother used to train. The forest was eerily quiet, however. I could feel unfriendly eyes following our every move. You came. Haran stepped out from the shadows. Draw your weapon. I thirst for blood. Haran breathed erratically, like a possessed beast, and his eyes were filled with an insatiable bloodlust. Stop this already, please. Give up, you cannot stop me. Yes, yes, yes. We'll get the point. It's all drama, man. We're now what's going to happen. I'm going to fight the bastard. Let's do it. I will spill your blood along this grass. Battle one. Fight. You dare prepare to die. It ends now. Strike. Strike. So yes. Strike. You dare. Strike. Got him. I used that parry mechanic. Battle to fight. What do we do the teleport? My specialty. Real power. You're finished. Feeble. Pooh. Strike racers ready. That's it. Give up. Strike racers ready. Say ya. <laughs> Sentiment of the year. The reason why I took so much damage at the end is because I was trying to uh, parry, but uh, it failed massively. Harvan lay on the floor, defeated. My head throbbed, and the world spun. I wasn't sure if it was because of the adrenaline or the influence of the astral chaos. I had to decide what to do about Harvan. I want to show mercy, I want to bring him back to life. Yeah. With a sharp rap to the head, I knocked Halron out. Despite everything, I couldn't bring myself to kill him. Scott. As long as there was hope, I had to try to save him. Carrying the unconscious Halron, we made our way to Hal, Hal Yu's retreat. Nice. What's next? A deal. Right, tell you what. Fuck it. I'm going to do this mission, then we'll call it an episode. A deal. The road to Ling Shui Tzu is long. We should prepare well. This fool could go wild again at any moment. Perhaps we should tie him up. How you helped me prepare for the journey ahead. Even Mitsurigi did his part. I left the retreat to find horses. My head throbbing with pain. I thought about Yang Wan. Heading to Ling Shui Tzu meant giving up on the astral fisher. 
Suddenly, I heard a voice behind me. What do you intend to do with the outsider? A man dressed in black was standing within striking distance. I hadn't even noticed him approach. I'm going to tell him the truth. Actually, I'm not. Ask him who he is. That's not for you to know. Let us make a deal. I have medicine that will temporarily suppress the evil known at the heart of the outsider. It is yours if you agree to meet me at a place of my choosing after you finish your task. Agree. Very good, however. I must warn you that if you have an if you have an age, the price you pay will be great indeed. I'll be watching you. When you've done what you must do, head west to Cro Crorena. You'll find a ruined castle. What you seek lies there. Oh, and come alone. Do not understand that you are but one of many who seek it. Make haste. With those final words, the man simply vanished. Five Rings Recruitment Agency. You can now employ the services of, of Yang Wan's Recruitment Agency. There you'll find a wide section of mercenaries to hire for gold. If you've run into a difficult mission, consider employing the services of a mercenary. All right. Mercenaries are NPCs that can help you on missions. A contracted mercenary will fight in the place of the player for one mission. Contract a mercenary before starting a mission. Then select them which one you want to use. The mercenary will fight your opponent before you and if they win, you beat the mission. However, if they lose, you will have to fight as normal. Ah, that's good. So you can employ them and do as much damage as possible and then if they get beat, you can finish the battle. Nice. You can supply mercenaries with weapons and food. This lets you put weapons that don't match your style to good use. Mercenaries can only be equipped with weapons that match their own style, and weapons equipped by mercenaries are returned to the player at the end of the mission. Happy days. Right, well. Let's have a look. I'll call this an episode there, lads. It's been awesome, so we've, we've come quite a long way. Bloody Halran's been possessed. So now we've chose to spare his life and see if we can take him to the magical man in the mountains to cure him which I hope we can do but we've also got to meet up with the man in black at a castle and I've got to come alone so we'll see how that goes it'll be exciting and intriguing see you in the next episode lads